Cheers Vinyl Community, LJ, and I wanted to shoot an overdue video for someone 481, another Vinyl Community member, his name is Dave, and Dave has um, a, a tremendous interest in 50s music, and Dave's channel is great. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put a link down bottom, and if you have any interest whatsoever in 50s music, you gotta check out Dave's channel, so cool. <clears throat> when I first caught some of Dave's first videos, um, you know, I mentioned I have a few 50s records nowhere near what you have, and, uh, and he said he'd love to see a video showing them off, so that's what it is, and here I am tonight, and maybe I'll shoot a couple more videos. Uh, what's playing in the background? OMD, and uh, I believe this is their first release, it's from 1980, but not 50s music, and Dave, this doesn't tie in with anything I'm about to show. Um, so I'm just going to run through these quick. Uh, these are all ones... You know, I can't say I listen to them all that often, but every once in a while I'll pull them out and, and kind of just have fun with them. But again, it's just a passing interest for me. It's something Dave takes very seriously. So I have Marty Robbins, Gunfighters and Ballads. Ballads and Trail Songs, sorry. I know Memphis Vinyl Jim and the Misses have done a lot with the 50s as well recently, so maybe we can take a look at some of the labels on these as well. This is a uh, Columbia 6i. So, very, very, very early, if not an original pressing, I'm not sure. Only thing I can't stand about this is the sticker here. I'll have to work on getting that off sooner or later. But this is a, a super fun album, you know, with Marty Robbins just singing old trail songs. It's it, This is a must-have, you know, whether you have a, an interest in 50s music or not. It's an absolute must-have. Uh, if you do stumble on that, pick it up. The record is just a, a shit ton of fun. Oh, how this got in my collection. Songs by Ricky. Super young Ricky Nelson. Um, <laughs> Ricky's better known to me for his older sons, Nelson. <laughs> Being a metal fan, or at least hair metal, but... So this is on Imperial, and, you know, no joking, my father was a big Ricky Nelson fan, so I think I heard a lot of his songs growing up. Uh, I don't even know why I saw this, to be honest with you. I just don't listen to it that often, but... Songs by Ricky. Ricky Nelson. I'm trying to... This doesn't have any of his big hits on it, and I'm trying to think off the top of my head what some of them are. They're just not coming to me right now. This one? <laughs> Fabian, Hold That Tiger. This just has that essential 50s sound to it. Two things I noticed now that I pulled this album back out is, Dave, the resemblance to Fabian is pretty uncanny, and they just don't make album covers like this anymore with that laminate over them because for the age, this is on Chancellor, and for the age of this LP, I mean, I have records that are newer that don't have that kind of shine. They just, uh, they don't make them like they used to. So this is Fabian's Hold That Tiger. It's actually kind of a fun LP, if not a goofy looking stuffed animal. So I don't think he's having a hard time hanging onto the tiger. Okay, Dwayne Eddy, Guitar Meets String. So this is Twenty Guitar. This is, I don't believe there's any originals on this. This is all instrumentals by Dwayne Eddy. Um, some things like Unchained, Melody, um, Love Me Tender, Moon River. So this might not, no, this is 62, I'm sorry. So I'm thinking Dwayne Eddy, 50 star, so a bit of a cheat. 62, the best of Dwayne Eddy. Of course, it has Rebel Rouser on it, which is one of Dwayne's biggest hits. Kind of a fun LP to listen to, to go through. Rebel Rouser was featured in Forrest Gump. Two from Buddy Holly. The Buddy Holly story and the best of Buddy Holly. I do keep both of these in my collection. I do have a soft spot for, um, for Buddy, for Richie Valens. I actually don't have a Richie Valens record except for uh, the La Bamba soundtrack. That doesn't qualify because that's mostly Los Lobos, but the best of Buddy Holly, again, I have a bit of a soft spot there. So we all know Buddy Holly, Buddy Holly's story, and uh, a lot of his famous music. And those two albums easily cover off anything I could be interested in. It's a compilation. This is a soundtrack from American Graffiti. So this kind of crosses over both 50s and 60s music um, from the movie. Uh, George Lucas, right. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola. Not a bad movie. I haven't seen it in years and years and years and years and years, but it's just got a killer set list of 50s and early 60s tunes. This is a fun listen. This is something I can kind of throw on once in a while. It's in a great while. And just let it go and have fun with it. It's a great listen. Um, parents are over that kind of thing. This is the music they grew up with. And, and I overheard a lot growing up as well. 
So on to another side of the 50s that I really do dig and feel, um, being a tremendous fan of R&B, a lot of times I'll listen to 70s and early 80s R&B. That, that's my favorite period, the Motown sound, um, Stevie Wonder, later James Brown, things like that. And that's just where I grew up. But every now and then I'll dive back into the uh, earlier end of the pool with 50s R&B and 60s, early 60s R&B, kind of pre Motown stuff. And I always start back with James Brown and the Furious Flames. Uh, the one I do have on vinyl that I have out is Pure Dynamite. And this is from maybe 62 or 63. But Pure Dynamite, man, the covers beat to shit. Uh, this was recorded on the spot, and the idea behind this one, this is on King, this was all of the singles that James had put out since Live at the Apollo performed live, except for one track, Oh Baby Don't You Weep, that was recorded in the studio and has um, audience noise overdubbed on it. But this and anything James did during this period is just freaking tremendous. James Brown and the Furious Flames. This is at the famous Royal Theater in uh, Maryland. Amazing, amazing. And anything James Brown did around that time is just as great as the stuff he did later on. Except for that Rocky IV shit. Again, early R&B. This is Chubby Checker. Let's twist again. Again, going back to stuff I would have overheard growing up on, this is on Parkway. They've got some cool songs like the Ray Charleston and Let's Twist Again. Just a good, fun, um, this has a real cool thing on the back. Listen to this. Did you hear the one about the Martian who landed his flying saucer at a hop, walked over to a teenager and said, take me to your leader. The teenager, obeying his command, took the spaceman by the hand, walked up to the stage and introduced him to Chubby Checker. <laughs> That's cool. So Chubby Checker, let's twist again on Parkway. Here we have Kings and Queens, kind of a who's who of who's who in early R&B. This is on Coronet. I love the old labels on some of these. So here you have Ray Charles, Maxine Brown, Lena Horne, Little Richard. Just some great early R&B, and I love the cover on this one. Love, love, love the cover. Such a great LP, and Lena Horne is such a great talent. Was such a great talent. Bo Diddley, compilation, 16 greatest hits on Checker. I don't think I've seen any of Bo's uh, single LPs, but man, what a precursor to rock Bo was. Love his album covers, too. Check these out. Bo is a gunslinger. All the different Bo Diddley LPs in the covers. What a fantastic compilation. You can say no more. Uh, Fats Domino, Million Sellers by Fats. Fats is absolutely remarkable. Blues, jazz, this is, on a, this is another Imperial, different Imperial label. Great set list. What I like the most about this one, as I gotta tell you, is the, some of the real standards just aren't here. I'll show you the song list here. It's just a complete mix of different songs by Fats. I mean, it's called Million Sellers by Fats, and I'm sure some of these were hits, but it just doesn't have the usual fare that you'd expect from Fats. And for that, I think I like it a lot more. Walking to New Orleans, um, Shura and Jambalaya on the Bayou are all great songs. Again, just fantastic early R&B. It's quickly turning into an R&B video. Two more. Love the cover on this one, Rhythm and Blues. So the best vocal groups, this has things like the Penguins, the Medallions, the Meadowlarks, the Platters. Hopefully I'm stirring some memories up for some folks here in the VC. This is on Guest Star Records. This one, it's not bad, it's a little noisy. It's got some, got some wear on it, but just some great early stuff. Early, 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 early R&B. I think I like the cover more than the record, to be honest with you. It's not bad, but it definitely doesn't get played too often, but it's a lot of fun. And the last one, of course, you got to end with some platters. So this is the golden hits of the platters. For me, this is more than enough than I'll, I'll ever need. Again, you have the super glossy cover. And this is on Mercury, early Mercury label. So fun stuff. The Great Pretender, Smoke It's In Your Eyes. Um, Heaven on Earth, some great early songs from the Flatters and some more great early R&B. So that's it, I thought I had a couple seven inches, hang on that I wanted to show. Um, I guess it was these, and Dave, I'll let you correct me, I'm not sure if any of these are 50s or not, I thought they might be. Here's Buddy Thomas on Todd Records, Have a Drink on Me and Learning to Forget. 
it might be early 60s, I'm not sure. Sage and Sand, Eddie Dean, Cry of a Broken Heart, um, with Impatient Blues. And this is on Event Records. This is a DJ promo. This is Hal Lone Pine down by the railroad tracks. And Prince Edward Island is heaven to me. Don't play too many 7 inches, but thought I'd pull those out. Anyways, for the 50s video. So again, I'll stick a link to uh, Someone481's channel. Dave, if you want to check them out, feel free. And uh, Dave, I hope you enjoyed this and definitely keep making videos. I really enjoy them. They're great. So that's it. We'll shoot another one. A couple quick thread responses I know I have to catch up on and some vinyl updates I'm staring at as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you. Take care. Ciao.